Did I bring that thing out all the way? Where's the line at? What? Where's the line? What the hell? What the fuck? Hey, what's up, guys? We're going to be doing the uh, Dovetail Fisher. I like fishing in real life, and I said, hey, what the hell? Might as well do it in a game, too. Character. All right, so. Oh. Difference. All right. I think we're going to go with this guy. Yeah, we like that. We don't have any points. Going to have to play with this guy. Uh, discover everything you need to know about how to become a master angler. The Academy. Um. I guess we gotta go into the academy first because hey, got anything else, do we? That looks pretty cool. Right. Welcome to the Dovetail Games Fishing Academy. It's a beautiful day here at the here. water's edge of the observatory lake. There's a slight breeze day. blowing across the water, and the conditions are perfect to learn the key skills you'll need to successfully catch fish no matter where you're fishing. In this first lesson, I'm going to take you through the basics of Dovetail Games Fishing. Later, we'll talk about targeting the right location, using different rigs and baits, and the tactics you can employ to set yourself up for a perfect session. All right. Thanks, bro. Wow, we're just going down the river. Or pond. Creek. Whatever this is. Graphics spot on. Look at those trees back there. Crumptious. Alright, so... Okay, here we are. Before the lesson starts, have a walk around and get used to oh, the controls. Okay, so we do have a kind of a free room kind of thing, I guess. And move around. Cool. Okay. Look well, around. it looks like you got the hang of it, which is good. Otherwise, it would have been a long day. Okay, toggle the view. Alright, so we got third person. And... Oh, whoa. We've got a number of pegs on this lake for you to set up your gear. You should be able to spot a peg by looking for a sign like this. For now, let's claim this peg and get your gear ready for fishing. All right. When you claim a peg, it's yours. No one else can fish from the same peg as long as your gear is in it. Bear in mind, though, if you walk too far away and leave your peg unattended, we'll remove your equipment and allow someone else to claim it. It's time to talk about your fishing tackle. Your rig right. and bait are just two of the tools in your arsenal to catch fish. Choosing the right rig and bait combination is essential to catching carp. When you're holding a rod, you can change your rig and bait by simply opening your inventory and choosing new ones. We'll explain how different setups work in another lesson. For now, just change your rig and bait to whatever you like the sound of. I really like that this guy is slightly British. Right, we're gonna... Close your inventory when you're happy with the tackle. Alright, we Right, you've claimed your peg and you've got your end tackle set up. Next, I'm going to talk you through how you cast in Dovetail Games Fishing. 
Start right. off by walking up to the front of the peg. When you're near the edge of the water, you should be able to open the bale into a casting position. All right. Okay, so that's by filling up your power meter. Okay, so it's like a power meter and then... All right. LT. RT. Power. <laughs> Oh my lord! Oh my god! You can gauge the bed type by feeling the vibration through the rod when the bait hits the lake bed. Yeah. Knowing what you're fishing over is essential. You'll want to use rigs and baits that are better suited to the particular bed type. We hit fucking ground. Where we, uh... Oh, okay, a fish... Fish got it. Fish got the thing on the ground. Okay, and then LT. Can't be straining the line too much or we'll lose the fish. Alright, come on, bud. What the hell? What the fuck? Come on, get up here! Greatest fisherman ever. What a beauty. <laughs> nice. Freaking carp. Okay, we'll release the fish. Okay. I'll Top catch stuff. Later. We're all done for today. In this all lesson, done. we've One shown fish. you how to claim a peg, perform an overarm cast, and how to reel in your line. And since you've been such a good student, I'm going to give you some tackle points. You awesome. can use these Thanks, to bro. unlock new gear in the tackle shop, which you'll find on the main menu. Thank you. On Thank top you. of that, you've also managed to bag yourself some experience points. Experience points, otherwise known as XP, represent how much experience you have as an angler. The more you gain, the more challenges will be available to you. And that's the absolute basics of Dovetail Games Fishing. Good job today. I look forward to seeing you on the bank sometime. Thanks, mate. Thank you. I know I'm a beast. It's okay. I guess we'll do the academy again. Fish on. Fish on! Fish on! Welcome back for another lesson. I know That's you want to get on with things and catch big fish, but everyone has to start somewhere. And I trust understand. me, when you're on the bank with a fish on, you'll thank me for this. Grab your rod and let's get started. Right. Just like before, head for a peg and unload your gear. Okay. Take that I can claim. Alright. Now let's talk watercraft. Take a minute and have a look at where you're fishing from. You can see there's a decent margin on the opposite side of the lake, with some overhanging trees and some reeds. An ideal place for a carp to hang out. Almost anyone can cast a rod out and wait for the occasional fish, but it requires skill and technique to catch big fish consistently. That's where watercraft comes into play. One All element right. of watercraft is looking for the visual cues. Keep an eye out for splashing, shows and small feeding bubbles. These all indicate that there are fish in the area, and this is where you need to be targeting. All right. Now, it looks like there's a lot of weed over there. That'll make things harder. Weed is a fish's dream and an angler's nightmare. If you're using a bottom bait and you cast into weed, your bait will be hidden and the fish won't find it easily. It can also tangle your line and help the fish escape your hook. So. When fishing over a weed bed, try using something that sits above it. A chod rig would do the job. Don't worry if you don't have one, you can just use mine for now. But I want it back at the end of the lesson. Alright. 
Todd Rick. I dude. When you're ready, cast out to the weeds on the far bank. Don't worry if you don't hit them first time, just reel in and try again. Although try not to do that too often, or you might spook the fish. Alright, we're gonna aim right there. That looks good enough. Oh, oh man. Resolve. Beautiful. I'm gonna get a bit technical with you now, so pay attention. Your line is attached to a reel on your rod, and all reels are fitted with an adjustable drag system. The drag system is what sets how much resistance there is for the fish to pull line out from the reel. So if you set it to its lowest setting, the fish will pull the line out easily and swim further away. But if you set the drag system to its maximum, the fish won't be able to pull line from the reel at all. It's locked up and the fish is going nowhere. Let's put that into practice. All right. Try increasing the drag on the reel to 90%. Got it. All right. Going up to 90%. Okay, if you had a fish on, it would find it difficult to pull line out from your reel. Bear in mind though, when you have your drag set this high, you're adding more tension to the line, and that could lead to losing the fish. Right. To monitor your tension, take a look at your drag system. When you have a fish on, you'll be able to see how much tension there is on the line by checking the tension gauge. Blue shows you when the tension is low, and red shows you when the tension is high. The two indicators at each end are there to show you when you're in real danger of losing the fish. You don't want to be in here, so adjust your tensions accordingly to get out of the danger zone. Got it. With that in mind, let's lower your drag to something a little easier on the fish. Something like 30%. When the drag is set this low, the fish will be allowed to take the line with a little bit of resistance, but it shouldn't be enough to lose the fish. The trade-off with setting the drag too low is that the fish can easily take the line and head for things that could snag it. You really want to keep the fish away from reeds on the bank and weed beds. If the fish makes it to those spots, then it might... Now, if you're lucky enough to have a fish on and you're reeling it in, my advice is to keep an eye on the fish's movements and what's around it. Constantly check the tension to make sure you have enough to reel in the fish, but not too much that it escapes. Think you're ready to take on a fish? I'm ready. You've got a bite. Time right. to see if you've been paying attention. Oh God. Start off by reeling in to tighten the line and help set the hook. But keep an eye on the tension. If you lose this fish, you'll owe me a new chod rig. Now stop reeling for a second. You don't want to add too much tension to the line. Hey, I got it. You can pull the fish in by literally pulling the rod back and then reeling in the slack line. Try it. Oh, that, pull the rod back over you, here. This is how you do it in the offshore. You gotta pull and then... Pull and pull and reel in. Pull and reel in. Pull and reel in. Pull and come here. Come here, bud. I see you. Okay. Okay. Catch him now. Looks catchable. This is about as close as this man's gonna get. See the oh. tension on the rod? Now move the rod forward and reel in the slack line. Oh, okay, so it's was... Careful now. When there's too little tension on the line, there's a chance of the fish escaping by throwing the hook. But when there's too much tension, well, you can pretty much guess what's gonna happen. New chod rig for me. Let's get this fish close to the bank so we can net it. You can move the rod to the side if you want to pull the fish in a certain direction. That's your tactic for pulling fish away from weed beds and guiding the fish. This fish is on a fucking leash right now. This. This way. This way. This way. This way. Mine. I got him. Quality stuff. You're almost ready to net this fish. Just reel it in a little closer. Don't this forget to pull the rod back and reel in the slack line to bring the fish in properly. This is Here dead. we go, make or break time. It's time to net the fish. Start off by picking up the net. All right. 
Check it out. You've caught yourself a beautiful common carp. You've also bagged yourself some experience and tackle points. Let's get this little fella back in the water and we'll call it a day. Right, just another common carp. Then that's it. In this lesson, we've covered how to reel in a fish, how to manage your tension, and you've even bagged yourself a quality common carp. Nice one. Thanks for listening, and I look forward to seeing you on the bank sometime. Well... Well, I guess we gotta finish the academy. Might as well. Stalking. Stalking is one of the most great tech. Right, here we are again. Now, this time, I'm gonna teach you a pretty advanced technique for catching fish. Oh. Don't worry about setting your gear up on a peg, because this time, we're going stalking. Stalking is a term anglers use when they're hunting for fish close to the bank. Now, why would you do this? Well, getting a bite in the middle of the lake and playing the fish is exciting stuff, but imagine seeing the fish on the margin, eating your bait right in front of you before it belts off and you're in action. That's the very essence of stalking. It's close quarters combat fishing. Now, let's get stuck <laughs> in and see if we can get a bite. All right. One of the best things about stalking for fish is that you aren't restricted to your peg. You're free to walk around the lake, look for fish, and cast out to the optimum location. Give it a go. Walk up to the edge of the lake and cast out. Before you cast, take a step back and think for a second. If you're fishing in the margins and you're trying to get a fish in at close range, you're not going to bang out a massive overhead cast now, are you? Oh, great. Casting overhead to short distances is not the way to go. Instead, you want to change your casting stance to an underarm cast. It's a short range cast and is ideal for fishing in the margins. All right. Shit. I am stuck. Let go. Let go. Oh, shit. Before you cast, take a step back and think for a second. If you're fishing in the margins right, and you're trying to go. get a fish in at close range, you're not going to bang out a massive overhead cast now, are you? Casting overhead to short distances is not the way to go. Instead, you want to change your casting stance to an underarm cast. It's a short range cast and is ideal for fishing in the margins. Performing an underarm cast is the same as an overhead cast. Just hold the line, pull the rod back, and when you're ready, push the rod forward and release the line. It looks simple enough, but it's actually pretty tricky. Have a couple of practices to get used to underarm casting. And just in case you were wondering, you can still change your stance when you're preparing to cast. For this lesson, let's keep using the underarm cast. Whoa. Okay. Uh. All right. Oh, hold on. I've spotted some fish over there. Quick. Reel in and shift it over there before they spook. Right. Remember, when you're fishing in the margins, you want to keep an eye on the water and see if you can spot the fish in the lake. When you see a fish, you know instantly that you want to be casting your line in that. Look! Right there! Can you see them? I'm guessing Holy there's a few shit. doubles over there. Quick, cast your line out and hopefully one of them will take it. Right. There you go. Right there. Right where the fish were. Oh, is that a bite? Ah, nice one. 
Now it's just like before. Keep an eye on your line tension and reel your target in. Alright, he's ready to be caught, I think. Not. Where's his man? Oh, get him. Hit the net. There it is. Check that one out. And it looks like you picked yourself up some more experience and tackle Great. points. We're another not ending it here, though. Let's put this one back and see if you can heart. catch another. Can't get away. Just cannot You're get away from these common cards. I've taught you everything I can about stalking fish. So let's see if you can use those skills and catch one for yourself. All right. Well, I guess we gotta for some fish. See any fish? Fish, fish, fish. Fishies, show yourselves. Show yourselves, fishes. Where are you? Come on now. What the hell? What happens if I just randomly cast him? Oop. I don't think I'm doing that right. To be honest. Oh. Oh, yep. Yep, that's exactly what I thought would happen. Come here. Gotcha, bud. It's gonna be okay. Landed, and that's yeah. a lovely looking fish too. It's just Shame another it common one, carp. But catching these lovely looking carp is still great fun. All right. Hey, we leveled up. That's cool. Okay, let's get to it. Baiting with a spod is the topic of this next lesson. It's a great tool to help get the fish feeding. Let's start off with the basic principle of baiting. In case you didn't know, baiting is a term anglers use when they drop free bait in an area for the fish to eat. Now, why would any angler give away his bait if there isn't a hook on it? Well, it's kind of like opening a free all-you-can-eat buffet for fish. They can't resist it. Now, just think about having a well-placed hook in the middle of that feeding frenzy. Chances are you're going to get a bite in the middle of all that mayhem. And that's baiting in a nutshell. Let's give it a try. All right. First of all, get yourself set up on a peg, then you can equip your spot. Right there. Good. Now, take a look at your selection of rods. You should be able to see that you now have a spod available. Just select the spod oh, okay. and you'll switch to it. It's that easy. Now, let me explain what a spod is. That rocket-shaped thing on the end of your rod is the spod. It's loaded with bait, and each time you cast and it lands in the water, it's dropping its payload. That is what you want. It's basically saying to any fish in the area that the buffet is open for business. All right. Give it a try. Cast the spot like you'd cast a normal rod. Try aiming it somewhere in the middle of the lake. Middle of 
up the lake. Here we go. Oh my god. What the hell? Where is this thing? Did it go over? It went over the edge of the fucking bridge. Holy shit. Yeah, maybe that's enough. Alright. Usually better. you want to bait an area a couple of times, adding loads of food to the area. To consistently cast the spot at the same distance, you can set the line clip. Line clip limits the amount of line that's allowed off the reel, and by setting the line clip, you'll hit the same maximum distance every time. Try setting the line clip, reel in, and cast out to that exact area again. All right, so we're gonna... That's the one. Okay, so we're gonna cast in real quick. And I guess we're gonna relaunch. To unclip, simply unset the clip when the spot is in. Job done. Now, let's switch to a hook bait and get it out there before the frenzy begins. All right. Okay, now for the difficult bit. You need to cast your line out to the baited area without the line clip. I'm going to teach you a little technique that should help you to do that. What you want to do is set yourself up to cast as far as you can, but when you release the cast, hold the line again to slow it down. This will slow the speed of the line coming off the spool and should help you to guide the rig to the same spot as your baited area. All right. Give it a try. Do a powerful overhead cast and as you release the line, hold the line again to slow it down. Okay. We'll try that. Oh my god. I just launched that thing. Slowing go. down the cast, you can also move the rod to the side to pull it in that direction. It's really handy for oh guiding god. the bait in the direction you want it to land in. Come on. There you go. Guessing I'm gonna need to do that again. And then we need to stop it from this massive launch that is. Oh my god. The launch is that. Get in! You landed that perfectly in oh, the well. mix. Thank you. It doesn't look like the feeding frenzy started yet, so I tell you what, instead of standing like a spare part with your rod in your hand waiting for a bite, you could put the rod down and give your arms a rest. All right. Ah, oh, isn't that better? <laughs> You're probably wondering how you know if a fish takes the bait. Don't worry. You see that rest your rod is on? Connected to that is what we call a bite alarm. When you've got a fish on, you'll know because that thing will start beeping away like there's no tomorrow. Whilst you're waiting for a bite, you could go for a wander and see if there are any fish nearby. Or you could just relax and enjoy the tranquility. I feel like the second I turn. Can we sit in the chair? Can we not sit in the chair? Hey, oh, great. there you go. Quick, get your rod and pick it up before the fish runs off with it. Go on now, you got this. Real right. that fish. I'm trying, bro. Oh, I get it. Okay. Pick up the fish. Okay. Time to reel in. This line is super long. Holy cow. Alright. Come on. Come on. Get here. Rhythmatic thing. Pull. And really. Pull. And really. 
pull. And reel it. And pull. And reel it. Come on. Here we go. Oh. That looks oh, like another that's common That's another car. beautiful common you bagged yourself. You're Great. getting the hang of this, aren't you? Well, that's all I can teach you about baiting. Let's put this one back and call it a day. Never get to take the fish home. I have a family, you know. To feed. You're in for a special masterclass session today. I'm going to be showing you my own preferred method of carp fishing, and that's a three rod setup. This is Boy, the most commonly used technique for carp fishing because three rods out in the water increases your chances of getting a bite. So, let's get cracking. All right. Yes, and we if you're going to fish with two or three peg. rods simultaneously, you're going to need to fish from a peg. But you also need a few other things to get started. But for this lesson, you can just use my spare gear. Now, go and set yourself up this on a peg. got all this shit. Right. Oh, okay. When These you're fishing with multiple epic. rods, you'll usually start with the first rod in your arsenal. If you want to change your tackle on a certain rod, you need to be holding it first. So, as you're already holding this one, why don't you change the tackle options on it? All right. Go with the new rig and uh Alright. What the heck? What the heck? Yeah, yeah that's what I want. Come on, close! A little tip. I've cast around in this area and it's full of silt. So, try switching to a rig and bait ideal for silt beds. Alright, there you go. Silt, want float, right? Right, when you're ready, cast out and find right. the silt bed. Load. Ready to go. So, cast your line out to... Okay. So we're just gonna cast up and boom. All right. Okay, we've got one rod out in the water. Now switch to your second rod and do the same thing. Just change the tackle to something that will match the bed type you're fishing on and cast out. All right. Change this rod. All right, we're gonna put this one out here. Top stuff. We've got two rods out there now. Switch to your third rod, and this time we're not going to cast out just yet. Instead, have a wander over there with that rod. All right, give me this rod. And we'll wander I over really there. I really like, like this fishing said. style because it allows you to leave two rods out in the lake and to take your third one for a little stalking session. It. All right. Oh yeah, the second we walk over there, who would have thought? Jesus Christ! Oh, wait a minute, did you hear that? Quick, get back to your rod, you've got a bite! Alright, Jesus Christ, chill the frick out, hey, Rod. better hurry! Yes! Right. Fish on! Reel that one in! Hey, okay, come on. Come on, stay in control. Shit. Come on, fish. Just come this way. Okay. Not even getting slack like this. What the hell? Oh, shit. Hi, fish. Gotcha. You're mine now. Come here. There you go. 
How about oh, that one then to yeah, end the session? Sort of thought. Looks a like you've got yourself car. a lovely looking common there. It just goes to show you that the more rods you have out there, the more chance you have of catching a fish. Another so, common let's slip this one back and call it a day. Quality session, well done. Hey, In this lesson, I've shown you how you can fish with three rods at the same time. And I've also given you a nice little stalking tactic you can add to your game as well. Thanks. Good job. I look forward to seeing you on the bank. Yes, we gotta go to freedom fishing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the first place, I guess. All right. That's all we got. Oh, uh, we wanna go. I wanna go here. I wanna cast off the cool ridge. Okay, so this is where this was the starting area. All right. Claim this. All right. Yep. All right. Passed out. Over there. Boom. Launch that puppy. All right. Down the rod. Switch to a new rod. All right. We want this rod right here. This one out there. Mm. All right, go. Put that rod down. And go to our next rod, our third rod right here. Now we're. N do I want to do that stalking thing that he was talking about? I guess I'd try it. See if we can't do something. Really see any fish though. Never actually saw fish like that. I guess. I'm just gonna cast this thing out. I'm gonna put it a little bit closer though, you know. I'm gonna add some. Uh... All right. Oh shit! Did I bring that thing out all the way? Where's the line at? What? Where's the line? What the hell? What the fuck? All right, we need we need to get this fine. Jesus Christ! Oh my! We need to reel it in. Come on! I got a big one. Come on! All right, there we go. Now I think I heard a guy chilling right here. Uh. Going to change how we cast and whoop. here we go. Oh, shit! Shit! <laughs> Fly fishing. Oh. All right, we're gonna try that again. Stop doing that. Destroying my line. Ah, damn. There we go. Oh. Jesus Christ. Where's some fish at? Fuck. That's right there. Come on. It's something. 
Jesus Christ. Damn. This is a weird. Right, we're gonna change. I'm gonna cast the fuck out of this thing. Oh my god! Off the ground. There you go. That right there looks good. Put that down. Alright, so we've got all our rods in the water. Actually, what the heck? Not really catching anything. In our speed. Right. <laughs> that thing just goes so far. Like, actually. <laughs> thing goes so much farther than a normal cast. Right there. That looks good. Jesus Christ, that's so much farther. Like target practice. I need to get a... No! Stop! Stop! Okay! Uh, put down the rod! What the heck? Rod selection! This one! Come on! Are you fucking me? God damn it! We finally had a fish! Put this thing down. Get to the rod too. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, come on. We're gonna get this fish. All right. Hey. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean he got snagged? What? This is hard. I'm going to die. <laughs> God. Damn it. I'm waiting for a fucking fish all day. And get shit. Wanna fucking kill something. Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on, this way, but what? God damn it. Yeah, that made sense. All right. I'm waiting for a damn fish all day. Can't catch shit. All they do is get off the fucking line. Starting to think I can't fucking fish. Hey, look at me. Look at me. All right. Why the fuck aren't there any fish? All right, what line is it? 
We're on line two. We got this. Fish, come on. This is so easy. This is so perfect. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come here. I can catch you. Yes! We did it! All right. Oh, it's not a common carp! It's a, it's a roach. We caught a roach. This guy looks so happy too. Oh boy. Oh shit, we got another fucking line. Come on, come on. Put down the line. Okay, I'm, I'm getting this line. Jesus Christ game. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, come on. it's gonna be okay. It'll be okay, bud. Come here. Come here. Yes. Come on. Can I catch him? Hell. Oh my god. Actually, what is this? You're fine, dude. Chill out. <gasps> no! What? Put out the other rod. Whatever that fish was, I could have freaking got it. I don't know why it wouldn't let me catch him. Oh, great. There's... Look at that shot. Come on, fish. Come on. Bite something. I'll give you something to bite. Better bite something. This guy looks like he's just like so distraught. He's like not happy. He's not sad. He's showing no emotion. He's just like fucking fish. Where the fuck are these fish? This your living water, right? Come on. I want to catch one more fish before I end this video. Come on, fishes! Do the fish dance. La -la 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 fishing license required. Do I have a fishing license? Enjoy fishing. You need an environment agency rod lock. Oh, we got a line. Come on. Get to the... Okay, rod selection. It's our third line. Okay, come on. It'll be okay, Mr. Fishy. Just come here. Okay, I can't catch two things at once here. Come on. Okay, okay, I got this guy. I'm gonna get to you. Don't you worry, line two. Oh, this isn't a carp, or is it a carp? It's just not a common carp. What is this thing? Come on! Load! Oh, I didn't even get to see what it was! Okay, okay! Jesus Christ! What the fuck? What the hell? What kind of... What is this? Where did this fish go? What, what am I trying to do right now? Okay, I need to... 
Right. Oh. Yes. Awesome. Now I have to catch a whole nother fish. Alright, I'll take that. One more line out. Put down that line. All right, we've got a line on line two. Fish on! Fish on! Oh my god, this guy just came right through the thing. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, this is where you're gonna die now. I'm just kidding. I'll release you. I can pull you. Come on now. What the heck? He's really close. Let me get him. Oh my god, the second time. It's like snagging on something or whatever, man. What the odd selection. Come on. This is so much harder. Than I thought it'd be. Come on. Just reel him in. Come on, Mr. Fish. Come this way. Gonna be okay. Come on. Okay. Come on, catch him. All right. What do what we got? Great. Another freaking roach. All right, little guy. We're going to release you. All right, guys. I'm going to end that video here. Um, I'm sure we'll catch more fish some other time. Ain't that right, buddy?